veins I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah So let's play board with Arduino Uno and SMPS So many of my friends on YouTube have requested me to discuss about this project And also they have waited eagerly for this video so my message to them is that their wait is over and hope all of you will enjoy the project tutorial. So before starting if you are a new viewer please watch the video till the end and in case of any doubts you can mention me in the comment section and subscribe to my channel for all latest updates and don't forget to like and share it with your friends. So let's start. So for this uh, at first we should need a cardboard like this okay and uh, we should drill holes on this according to uh, our uh, matrix size okay uh, that is we should uh, take the matrix uh, width up to 8 leds and we should take the matrix length up to 20 up to 24 leds okay so according to that we should make 18 to 24 that is 192 holes on this board okay <laughs> After making all the holes, I have inserted all the LEDs into the board and you can see here that uh, I have in, uh, inserted 8 LEDs here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 and across the length uh, there are 24 LEDs you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 20, 24 okay so 18 to 24 that is 192 leds are there in the matrix total in all total okay so now comes how to insert the led since all of you know that the pixel leds uh, come in strips like this okay so how to insert all the leds into the board so before coming to the connection if you have uh, not seen my uh, previous videos on arduino connection to the pixel LEDs and SMPS and TO1000 as controller connection on the pixel LEDs please go to my channel and please go through the videos and otherwise you sh should have some problems regarding the connection you can see here uh, in this matrix I have connected the LEDs in this form okay that is these are the LEDs here and uh, if these are the 8 LEDs then this is the total length that is this is the 24 LEDs okay and the connection is like this S connection okay this S type connection you have to do in the whole board okay and this is the input and this is will be the out, output side input means this will be the input side to the Arduino okay from the Arduino will give data input from this side and uh, in this way it the data will uh, go out okay so you can see the, here uh, that uh, this is the input to my uh, first LED uh, which I will give through the Arduino okay Arduino Uno. and this is the data input okay and from here it has gone to the last up to 24th LED and then this is the 25th LED it has come from the second row like this way and it is the end of the 50 LEDs here you can see I have connected uh, the male and female connector and then after that it has gone through this like that and the connection is like yes as I have shown in the figure here okay I have taken total 200 LEDs these are the strips of 50 LEDs okay and I will need 18 to 24 that is 192 LEDs so uh, 8 LEDs will be left so I have left 8 LEDs in the back. These are of no use uh, in this project. I will give input data input only to 192 LEDs in which the matrix text will be displayed. Okay. For data input, uh, I will use the Arduino and I will connect the data pin to pin number 11. The positive to the 
5 volt you can see here the positive to the 5 volt and the negative to the ground i have connected the data pin to the pin 11 which is here and the positive to the plus 5 volt and the negative to the ground okay i have used the smps here to uh, give supply to the uh, pixel leds okay uh, i have connected all the positives here which is common you can see the four positives uh, are common here and four negatives are common two negatives here and two negatives are here uh, okay this uh, four negatives are common and i have taken two positive and negative uh, where's at last okay and i will give the supply uh, to the smps okay and now after this comes the connection of the smps i have explained the smps connection in my previous video you can uh, check the description box for the tutorial videos i will give the link in the description okay so i will connect the positive to the plus pin of the smps which is this plus 5 volt and the negative to the minus 5 volt of the smps and these are the ac inputs to the smps okay so now i will uh, program the arduino so let's come to the programming part in the programming section uh, you can see that there are three libraries adafruit gfx.h adafruit uh, neometrics.h and adafruit neopixel.h okay which are the header files and after that Mm, the, here is the digital pin number which I have used pin 11 on the Arduino so it is pin 11 if you have used other pins then you can change the program accordingly now it is the length of the uh, pixel matrix I have used 24 LEDs across the length so I have used here 24 if you have used 60 LEDs then you can make it to 60 okay and here is the width of my pixel matrix I have used 8 LEDs along the width so I have uh, written here 8 if you have used 7 then you can write here 7 uh, but by using 7 LEDs across the width the small letters make get cut in the lower portions ok so it is recommended to use 8 LEDs along the width now here is the brightness uh, you can make the brightness to 50 to 60 uh, according to your need uh, I have made it to 100 that is the full brightness okay here is the text input to the matrix display okay here I have given please like share and subscribe you can also input here welcome okay so the welcome will easily display on the uh, board okay but as we increase the size of the text uh, as if uh, if I input here welcome to Shion electronics studio as I increase the length of the text the whole text may not come in the display okay so if the problem arises what should you do you should increase this number here okay if it is 100 written there you should make it to 200 300 500 then try it okay and now comes the delay time here is the delay time delay means the interval after which the next color of the text will uh, display on the display board okay so if uh, i made it to uh, 150 if you decrease the number then the speed of the text uh, display on the screen will increase and if you increase the delay time uh, then the speed of the text will decrease it will move crawl slowly on the display board okay so this is the program uh, so after this you should compile the sketch after compiling is done you should upload the code after uploading is done you are ready with your uh, text display so friends thanks a lot for watching stay tuned for all latest upcoming videos on electronics projects and the tutorial so